Hello and welcome to another video from Mr. Watkins at MrWatkins.com. Uh, today's video is very specific for human body systems um, and it's just uh, to help you get figure out how to use semi-log paper. And that's what I have here. I have some semi-log paper and if you notice graph paper, if you notice on this side it seems to be pretty much a standard um, like graph paper as far as each one of the individual lines are uh, equally separated out. But when you look this direction, you notice that the lines get smaller and smaller and smaller. This is called semi-log graph paper, meaning I've got one side, in this case here, um, that is not in a log rhythmic um, setup, and then I have the other side that is. And I'm not going to get into a lot of detail about what log is, um, you know, basically, log is how many of uh, a number do we need to get to multiply it by another number. And why we're using it in HBS is using semi-log paper helps when you have to um, graph something that occurs exponentially. So, such as uh, if a, a virus or a bacteria uh, infects a population, it might infect one person and that person might infect another one, but those two people then would affect, um, could then affect more than just infecting one other person. And so you get this rapid onset or rapid growth of an infection in a population and it, it follows an exponential uh, pattern. And we want to be able to graph that. Um, and so when we look at this graph paper, whether you have it in this direction or in the, uh, in the other direction, landscape size or style, um, you're using this where it gets smaller, this part, this section, uh, to basically help you with the representation of that exponential uh, growth, if you will, or that exponential change. Um, so let's assume that we're going to follow the path of an infection um, over so many um, days or weeks. So that's a, a pretty uh, standard, um, you know, one day, one day, one day. We're not getting exponential growth here. Um, we're not getting something that's occurring exponentially. Um, but we're going to graph the time, and so we'll have the time here, and um, the, the amount of infections or the amount of uh, people infected um, or the growth could occur exponentially. And so how we're going to set this up is down here at the bottom, I'm going to put in my days and I can just number them off 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. I'm not going to graph anything for you. I just want to show you how to use this graph paper um, and so on because it's just basically a linear scale. Now when we come up here to the exponential part, because our y that we're going to gra graph, uh, maybe in this case it's a uh, number of people infection, uh, people infected. And so we're going to put our uh, title there, but this is where the graph paper comes in, in uh, handy, because um, basically we're going to number the same thing here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way up to 10, but now we're going to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Now we got 100, and now we're going to go by our 100, so that'd be 100, 200, 300, and so on until we get to a thousand and then when we go a thousand, one thousand or excuse me, a thousand, we're going to go to two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand and so on. And so instead of it just going one through ten, ten through twenty, twenty through thirty, we're actually jumping by a factor of ten uh, each time we jump up. And that way as we plot our points here going up, if it rises exponentially we can basically have a plot that we can analyze and look at without having um, all these numbers kind of crammed together and then this huge line that suddenly just jumps straight up all the way up to the top it'll give us a little better look and so we can get a better idea of what's going on uh, in that population or with that particular infection. Um, you certainly can do it uh, the graph this direction but again remember when the lines get smaller here what we're looking at is a log. So you're looking at data, um, in our case, for what you guys need, we're looking at data that goes exponentially. 
And so if your x is exponential, then you'd want to go at that direction. But typically our x is not because we're looking at time and we're not looking at some exponential piece of time. We're looking at, you know, number of days or number of weeks. And we're measuring the amount of infection, the amount of growth, that kind of thing. And that tends to go exponentially. Hopefully this helps you understand how to use the uh, semi-log graph paper. Um, granted, this is very, very brief. It leaves out a whole lot of information that your math teacher and others could probably help you with. But this should get you through um, this uh, unit or this uh, particular lesson in HBS. Thank you and have a great day.